everyone! So in this video I've got some more updates on the move, I have an Ikea haul and today is kind of stage two for the guinea pigs. We're actually going to be building them their second temporary cage in the other room which is similar to the other cage but unfortunately as I hinted at in my other video <laughs> the large L-shaped cage won't quite fit so we're going to kind of build them a temporary one. It's going to be a bit smaller but I think it will do for now. And then ultimately once I redecorate this room, put new flooring down, they will get their third stage, their final stage of a brand new cage in this room. So it's a lot of changes for them but they seem to be settling in. As you can see I've kind of changed the configuration of this cage. So the reason why I've done that is basically to allow me to put my sewing desk in. And we've also now moved a lot of the stuff from the sewing and pigs room which is all in a massive pile here and that's kind of yeah. <laughs> Looks like a lot of junk but I actually want to keep all this stuff. <laughs> and if we just take a quick peek in here you can see there's lots of bits of wood hanging around that we're going to be making their second temporary cage with. Um, unfortunately the large cage won't fit um, so it's going to be smaller. We've not bought any new pieces of wood for it because there's not much point. But it will do for now and I'm sure the guinea pigs will be happy enough in there. And then once they get their even bigger cage they'll, they'll love that even more. <laughs> so that's what this looks like at the moment. I will return once we have built the cage. But before I catch up with you about the guinea pig's cage, I thought I would show you some of the stuff we got from Ikea. In case you don't know, me and my boyfriend really, really love Ikea. <laughs> we went over Christmas and didn't actually buy anything. So we thought we'd make up for that and actually get some stuff for the new house this time. So I just thought I would do a bit of a haul and show you what we got. So first things first, of course, we don't have any um, lampshades. We're kind of lacking a lot of curtains as well in the new place. So this is a nice big, just plain gray lampshade that is going to go in the living room. Um, further round here, this is another glass lampshade, which I really, really like. And that's gonna go in our bedroom, we think. And then up there, we have those two black lampshades with the lovely kind of copper colored foil on the inside there. We really liked these ones and they are gonna go kind of in the landing downstairs and upstairs, so they'll be nice. And then what else have we got? Well, over in that corner, we've got a laundry basket because even though we've lived together for two years, we've not actually got one yet. <laughs> so that's gonna come in useful. And then there's some little bits and pieces for the bathroom down there. Toilet brush. Definitely a necessity. And we've got a little soap dispenser and a little like toothbrush holder. And I think they'll go with the tiles and that in our bathroom. And a few other little bits and bobs for the bathroom, a squeegee thing. They're really good for cleaning those glass um, screens if you have them on your showers. Um, yeah, especially because you can just kind of like do it straight after you've been in and then it's clean straight away, which is nice. They <laughs> kind of got other stuff all for the kitchen, I think. Oh, mostly anyway, <laughs> first of all, this little cute cuddly toy is little cat and that is going to be for Mike's new niece because she's only a few weeks old and Ikea do a whole range of little cute plush toys that are totally safe for babies because obviously they've got no like little parts or anything. So we thought that was really, really cute. So that's going to be for the baby. And then a few other bits and bobs. For the kitchen, we got a new set of plates. We quite liked the look of the kind of square ones, but they still got round edges. So I think they'll be quite nice. Uh, over there, we got a new sieve. We got some of these things to stand pans on, which is very exciting. <laughs> we got a jar, just cause we liked the look of it and why not? <laughs> we also got a load of straws just because we like the look of them. <laughs> we might have a bit of a housewarming party at some point, hopefully when the weather's nice, although knowing the weather in this country, um, we'll just have to resort to doing summery stuff inside. <laughs> and then here um, is a kind of vase thing that was on offer and it was only like a couple of quid and I just really like the look of it. I thought it's kind of like a Dalek looking thing. And I think that's almost, oh okay so the missing out one of the other big things, that white rectangle over there that's one of the um, shoe storage things that Ikea do. 
and I think um, I probably won't be able to show you but basically the top it just lifts out like this and then you can put your shoes in there so we're going to fix some of those to the wall in the living room oh and how could I miss this we got some more kitchen utensils <laughs> very exciting <laughs> So that was our little haul from Ikea, although not so little, it's quite expensive overall. I think Ikea are a bit sneaky, um, they have loads of really cheap good value stuff and then some other things are maybe a tad overpriced, um, like the lampshades were quite expensive when really they're just um, foil coated fabric around a little wire thing and I think they were like £15 each so they were probably some of the most expensive items. But anyway, uh, it's all nice new stuff for our house and we're looking forward to finally um, getting it off the table. <laughs> I've been annoying Mike because I'm like, I want to do a video and show people what we got. And he's like, I want to put the lampshades up. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you can't yet. Hello, so this is the cage setup that we have in the little bedroom for now. As you can see, it is basically one half of the l shape cage. It is the fat half. <laughs> and to make this, we had everything really, the plexiglass piece across the front was the same this side on along here was the same we just had to cut down the two other sides to make them fit and um, it was really straightforward just to assemble it using screws Mike's dad helped us so thank you Mike's dad <laughs> um, well he basically did it all on his own I didn't really help at all <laughs> Right, so I have the liner in, I have the water bottles, I'm going to get the guinea pigs and their stuff and get them nice and settled. You can see it is a lot smaller than I would like, but I will stress that it is temporary. Um, they've been fine in the smaller size cage that they've had for the past week. So I think together with lots of floor time, hopefully some time outside in a run, um, this will be sufficient space for them. Can you smell something, piggies? <laughs> Literally 30 seconds ago, they were all fast asleep. <laughs> Twiggy was in the litter tray, Willow was in the tunnel, and Lyra was in that slipper snug. And I've just been out and got them some grass from the garden. There we go. Yummy. So I've been gradually introducing grass to their diet because I want to put them out outside when I get a run for them. Um, so I've been giving them a couple of bowls full of grass every day just to kind of let the digestive system adapt to having it. So if you have access to fresh grass that you can pick for your piggies then definitely give it a go. It is any guinea pig's favourite food, they love it so much. It's really good for them, it wears down the teeth, it's got all the silicates in just like hay, it's got the vitamins and minerals especially um, when during the growing season, so spring or summer, it's really nutritious. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've liked seeing everything we got from Ikea and the piggies cage and then moving into this another temporary setup. <laughs> I'm not sure how long it will be before we get the room set up fully. Uh, probably quite a few months to be honest because I've got to save up for the decorating and stuff that I want to do first. So um, but yeah hopefully they won't be too long in here. I would like uh, them to have a bigger cage. So anyway that's bye from us for now and as always thank you for watching. Bye bye! so it is Sunday now and in this video I am going to be moving the guinea pigs into the new room so in case you didn't see